Hello again, this is apparently Seth Rogen. Let's write some code. Today we're going to be talking about ES6 tag template literals, or template strings if you prefer to call them that. Um, and you're probably thinking, wait a minute, you already did a video on ES6 and you talked about this. Why are we talking about it again? Well, you probably already know that they are awesome and you can create multi-line strings by using these little back ticks or grave accents, whatever you prefer. And you can make a list of things here, such as bears, as uh, I'm doing. And so now we have a string that has new lines in between them, and we have a multi-line string. Now, you probably already knew that, and you probably also already know that you can embed expressions inside the strings uh, more easily. So like, for instance, if we wanted to create a list of bears here, um, and maybe output them in a nicer format here. We can use this dollar sign and some mustaches here. And anything inside these mustaches is going to be an expression. Um, and so we can say split this by the new lines that we created above there. And then we can join them together with commas to make a little nicer list here. And so we can console log out. And you see that we get a nicer, well, almost nice list of bears. And what I mean about expressions is, is you can't just put in JavaScript inside those mustaches. That's not exactly how it works. It has to be a JavaScript expression. So for instance, if we wanted to have a Boolean here uh, that we can toggle whether we wanted this in the list, uh, we can't really do if polar, you know, uh, then things get, start to get kind of crazy. This isn't a, a expression, this is a statement. And so what we need to do is we need to change this to an expression. And so to do that, we could just say, we can use a, a, a tertiary. Uh, so we can say, if polar is true, then we are gonna write the word that, or the string polar. Otherwise, we're just gonna put it in a blank string. And so using this expression, we can use a Boolean to, to, to toggle whether or not it's gonna display polar. And so I can change it to false here. And now my ugly list of bears will exclude polar and make the list look even uglier. Now at this point, you're probably thinking one of two things. One being, why does it keep using ver if he's writing ES6? And the other thing you might be thinking is, why does he like template strings so much? Well, they're really cool for composing templates or, you know, things. So like, for instance, let's say you have a, an array of bears here and I want to make some HTML. Um, I can create a list here. And since they're new lines, I could do that. And then since I can embed in expressions in here, I can just map over these bears here. And I can return another expression or another template literal here with li tags and then use another expression of the individual bear. And now all of a sudden I have this awesome HTML list uh, that is composed in my JavaScript and it looks very readable, looks very nice. Uh, and it, it just makes everything super composable. And it'll probably make my list look even nicer here too. Whoops, we have some commas in there. Uh, let's just join that array so it doesn't get too stringed. So just join it by nothing here so it removes those commas. Anyways, that's more like it. So just when you think that template literals cannot get any better, they do get better. Let's create another example here. So I'm going to create a variable called bear and I'm going to assign it to grizzly and then I'm going to create another variable called result and I'm just going to create this uh, this template literal here that is a div uh, that's wrapping our bear variable here. Um, now I'm going to do something crazy. I'm just going to write a variable here called HTML and I'm going to put it before our template literal here. And this is what's known as a tag, and that's why this is a tagged template literal. And a tag uh, is really just a function that uh, lets us parse the template literal however we want. So when our HTML template function is called, we get an array of strings that make up the template literal, and then an endless list here of each of the expressions that make up the, uh, the template literal as well. So now using these parameters, we can decide uh, how we want to parse our template literal, and then we just simply return what, what the result is, uh, you know, our parsed, custom parsed result. Now you might be thinking, why are we bothering with any of this? Let's just write a, let's just use a function instead, you know, let's put some some, uh, let's put some parentheses around this and just call this function and, and then parse it. Unfortunately here our variable strings would equal uh, something like this. Uh, it'd be grizzly. The, the string has already been processed for us and it's already been parsed and so we, we would just get the raw string. And so that means we can't really use the parts that make up the template literal to, to custom parse the template itself. 
So the equivalent uh, function we would need to write in order to duplicate this, this same uh, template literal with the tag here would be, it would look something like this. So the first uh, part of the string is gonna be this opening div tag. And the second string is gonna be the closing div tag here. And then we only have one expression, which is this bare variable here. And so now using these, each of these parts, they're all broken up into a way that we can write a, a template processing function that can adequately uh, you know, parse it uh, into something else that we need it to be. But you know, we just don't want any of that noise. So what we're just gonna use is a tag template literal instead and make it look so, so much nicer and composable. So let's fire up the web browser here and see what this looks like. Um, I'll have a link in the description to get the same uh, development set up uh, set up for you and let's go ahead and add a little debugger statement here and see what's you know what's going on inside of this uh, this little template parsing function so now when I refresh my page we can go into this debugger here and we can see that we're we're here and we have an array of strings that is the, each of the individual parts of the of our template and then we each we have each of the expressions that were passed into this template literal here and of course, we only have one, so all these are going to be undefined. And so then after it, you know, uses all these things, we're just going to return the word parsed because uh, we're lazy. And as you can see, when we console log out our string, it has changed our template literal to just the word parsed. And if we remove the uh, the tag, of course, it's just going to return back to our our normal process JavaScript template literal. So now returning a string in a tag template function is super boring because we can return anything that we want. So let's do something fun. Let's, let's return a function, because those are fun. Um, and this function, when it's called, it's going to create an element here on our document, or with our documents, rather. Um, and so it's gonna create this div. Uh, we, we could use some fancy uh, um, JavaScript HTML parsing to determine that these are divs, but I'm just gonna assume that they are divs here. And so then our element text content, text content is going to equal the first expression and you know we can again be a little bit more smarter about this and maybe assign if there's more than one expression or a string anyways we can do this a lot smarter get that but just this is just an example of you know cool stuff you can do anyways so then this function when it's called is going to return this element so basically what this uh, tag will do to our template literal is it will change this template literal, it will parse this template literal into a function that when called can let us create the actual elements here. So instead of just dealing with strings here, um, we basically, uh, we, we have this create element uh, thing, we'll call it create element. Um, and so now all we have to do is we can say document body append child and we call this create element function that was returned by our template literal here and so now when we run this we get this uh we get it in an actual dom element here in our dom uh it, it created this element how cool is that so you can think about uh you know using these tag template functions you can think about all the kinds of templating that you can embed directly into javascript so maybe there's you know I don't know, some kind of CSS parser that you want to embed directly into it, or maybe you actually want to write, you know, a, a good HTML parser uh, in it. You can do all these kinds of really cool things. And that's why tag template literals are my favorite ES6 feature. So I hope ES6 tag template literals are now your favorite thing. And if they are, then please share the video and make it other people's favorite thing. And if you want to see more videos, then please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.